Hey guys, so today I'm going to be reviewing the A2. Um, that's this cube right here. This is the high-end memory if you've watched my other reviews. Um, and I'll explain why I have that out in a minute. Uh, right out of the box, it's kind of a little bit stiff. Uh, not bad though. Uh, the more you solve it, uh, the more it loosens up. I don't know if it's actually loosening up or if it's just uh, feeling like it's loosened up, but anyway, I haven't done anything to it except for I did lube it with Lubix, um, just because it made it feel a little bit better. Um, it was just a little bit scratchy and stiff before I lubed it. After it's fine. Um, so as you can see, it's pretty good. Um, the insides, just a normal 3x3 three three piece, but uh, you can see that edge right there, has it on both sides. Um, that's so it reduces friction on the pieces. Um, the corners are exactly like a Rubik's piece, uh, Rubik's cube piece, nothing really special about them. Core is a yellow core, nothing special about it. Uh, moving on, let's see, let's put this back together. Um, comes with the Alpha logo, comes in a normal... Where's my box? Uh, this is actually the box, so Alpha box, nothing special, not like it really matters. Alpha 2, yeah. Um, it corner cutting. Oh crap! Um, I guess it might actually be loosening up because before I couldn't even pop it out. So just so you can see that, no problem. Um, 45. It starts to pop out the back edge. Um, Nothing too special about this cube. Um, if I were to compare it to something, uh, I would compare it to the high-end memory um, because it just feels like it. Uh, let's see. Can you hear that now? See how it's like very similar. Um, the corner cutting. About the same. This one feels a little bit crisper. Uh, mine is lubed with Lubix, and I don't know, it feels just a little bit smoother, kind of easier to handle. Whereas this one is just a little bit stiffer. Again, nothing too special about the cube. Um, if I were to recommend any of the Alpha cubes, I would recommend the A2, the A3F, and the high end memory, or A5, um, and then the 52mm. Uh, micro alpha cube. Those are my favorites of the alpha brand. Um, the I don't see why they didn't just go from this to this. Um, I don't see why they made the other ones in the middle. Um, but that's up to them, not up to me. So um, sticker wise, um, good recognition. You can see that really clear. Um, stickers haven't done anything at all, literally. Um, haven't chipped, haven't faded, haven't peeled. They're great stickers. I would highly suggest them. Um, I would highly suggest this cube overall. Uh, if you like a high-end memory feel, um, or if you just like a clicky, crispy feel, go with the A2. Um, so, yeah, you can get it at Cube Depot, I think you can get it at Cube uh, Speed Cube Shop, and I'm not sure if you can get it at iCube Mart, but um, if not, I don't know what I was going to say there. Um, he might have it, he might not, I'm not exactly sure. I'll put the link to all the stores in the description. Um, again, it's a great cube, simple, basic, it's actually really nice, a bit loud though. But definitely fast. So that's my review of the A2. Um, hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next uh, review.